Greetings, people. You had the reviews. Right now, I'm wearing a Wu Tang shirt. Big up Wu Tang. Wu Tang forever. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the movie news episode. Right now, we're going to talk about some tidbits of news. Um, Irv, first out of business, what you have for us? Um, Richard Attenborough passed away. Yeah, yeah, Richard Attenborough um, recently passed away. Um, of course, he, I know him. Like when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, that's the guy from Jurassic Park. And you know, Mr. Hammond from Jurassic Park. So that's what I knew him. You know, as you know, growing up, I never really knew of any other acting roles since then. But I know that he also directed Gandhi, um, starring um, Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley, yeah. and I think he got a um, he got an Oscar for that. I think he got an Academy Award for that performance, or he got, he got an Academy Award for directing that. So I mean, he's an Academy Award winner. So I mean, that is definitely a big loss to the film community. So I'm sipping this one for Richard Attenborough. So. We do mourn his loss and you know it's definitely a big loss to Hollywood and the film community so definitely take that into consideration. Um, what's the next order of business we can move on to? Um, Martin Scorsese, he is directing a new TV show based on the Shutter Island movie. Yeah, well that's interesting. I mean, I like that. I mean, Shutter Island was actually a good film. It was a really good film. You know, really good film. Yeah. I did enjoy it and mm -hmm. I think um, trying to you know, do that in a, like a television series because television has evolved yeah. now. You get the right actors to do it, you get the right storyline. And I, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stories you can tell yeah. with that kind of mythology, you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of characters you can actually get to. This one is, um, so the story is based before the movie happens. Okay. And it just centers around the island itself oh. and all the dark sort of secrets and its past and, and stuff like that. Well, that's good. I mean, I kind of like that. I kind of like that premise. It's almost kind of like a prequel before yeah. before the film. And yeah. you get to see what really goes down in that place. You get to explore more. Well, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's great that Mar Martin Scorsese is getting you know back into film. Because, I mean, Boardwalk Empire yeah. is the final season right now. So mm -hmm. after that, he's jumping into something else. I mean, Martin Scorsese has his hands in a lot of things right yeah. now. Yeah, he's he, got the... The movie with, well, the last James Gandolfini movie, yeah, um, yeah. The Drop, which stars Tom Hardy, mm -hmm. and then he's working on a film starring Andrew Andrew Garfield and Liam Neeson called Silence. Yeah, he's I heard working that. on a, mm -hmm. a seventies rock and roll pilot with Mick Jagger, so that okay. might be TV related, but it's got a lot going on. And he's also the documentary about the Ramones, I believe. Yes, in talks to that as yeah. well. Yeah, so and I heard that he's also executive producing um a film. Um, the Asian guys that did um, Infernal Affairs. Mm. He's executive producing, you know, a gangster movie. Is it Revenge was, of the Green Dragons? Or yeah, or something. Is that Green what it's yeah, I, that's, I think that's it. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah, comes Green out. Dragons. All, it comes out this autumn. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that because when I saw the trailer for that, it looks really good. It's almost like a mob movie involving just Asian gangs. It looks mm. really, sick. really <laughs> sick. So I'm looking forward to that. Nice. So next thing we can talk about. Um, your favorite TV show or one of them, American Horror Story. Oh Free yeah, Show. yeah. So I've been, mean, you know, I'm I'm a fan of American Horror Story. I've been keeping up with all the seasons, and I do plan to do some reviews on that TV show um, coming up this season. So I saw the teasers. I'm loving it. It's about you know a freak show. So a lot of the the premise of American Horror Story, they use a lot of the actors and they give them different roles. So they keep rebooting the franchise, putting them in different roles and different sceneries and stuff. The last one was Coven about some witches. It was all right. It was I think it was the weakest out of the the, the three thus far. I think this season is going to be really really good. I mean I'm looking for a freak show. So it's like you got Sarah Paulson who, who who has like two heads. She has like a Siamese head. So it's two different heads. It's just it's going to be weird, it's going to be crazy, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, the teasers kind of got me pumped. And the thing about the teasers, hmm. they don't show you a lot. They don't show you like little clips, little weird clips. So, they don't really give you what the whole that thing whole is about. Picture, yeah, but yeah. they gave you the synopsis, and they don't really have to give you any more because I know that they're going to deliver, hmm. and I look forward to reviewing it and, you know, talking about it more. Um, so, Seventh Son has been... The delay, uh, the release has been delayed. Yeah. Um, because of what the legendary moving from Warner Brothers. To yeah. Universal. No, that's in, that, that's interesting. So like this is a crazy story. Hmm. Now it, it was reported um, that it was reported that the Seventh Son, because Universal is his was tied to Warner Brothers um, before they made the move to Universal. That film had came out you with mean a legendary. trailer. Legendary. Sorry. Yeah. Um, was with Warner Brothers. They came out with a trailer with Warner Brothers pushing the film, but then it got lost in the shuffle when Warner Brothers moved, when um, Legendary moved over to Universal. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was um, 
of course, Warner Brothers is not going to put money into the film anymore. It's Universal doing it. So Universal has taken on the film and they gave it a new release date. I mm. think it's in... I'm, I'm not sure the new release date. I think it's in January of next year. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's going to be next year. Mm -hmm. So what Universal... Because it was in Comic-Con last year it was in, and Comic-Con this year as well. So it's like it's been, it's been doing stuff. But I mean... I'm, I mean, I heard about the film. I saw the first trailer. Um, I saw the second trailer, what they just released. I mean, it's going to be like an alright film. I'm not really that... In, but what, what I want to talk about is that just the whole thing, you get caught up in the shuffle. Yeah. And now the responsibility is on Universal to promote and distribute the film. Yeah. So we'll see what they do with it, what they do with the property. You know, like on um, Pacific Rim and Godzilla is staying on Warner Brothers via Legendary mm -hmm. with the deal. But they gave up Batman v Superman Whoa. to take um to take off of Interstellar. Mm. I mean... T getting off of Batman and Superman, that's kind of, you know, because I think that would probably make a lot of money, but Interstellar is more Oscar worthy. I guess they want probably the Oscar worthy recognitions or maybe mm. Academy, or if it gets nominated because, you know, Matthew McConaughey, the big mm. star power, and it might make money, but, you know, maybe they don't have faith in Batman v Superman while they dip down. I mean, that I don't know. Say a lot. Yeah, but I mean, I, 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 that little teaser that I saw for Batman v Superman got me <laughs> solar already, so I'm going to watch it regardless, so it <laughs> doesn't matter. I'll, I'll make my opinion when I review the film. <laughs> we can move on to something else. And um, finally, Doctor Strange, to be yeah. played by Joaquin Phoenix. So now, he's always been in talks, right? So now there's mm -hmm. a report now saying that they saw him buying like Doctor Strange comics mm. at, at, at this comic store and like he's really... So I'm just interested to see what kind of deal is going to be signed. Cause, um, Joaquin Phoenix is not a person to know to sign you know multi-picture deals mm. so i'm wondering you know if it's going to be probably like two films or and then you can renegotiate i, I don't know how it's going to be do, done but i'm really interested in because yo he's take he's always taking on weird roles what uh, phoenix has always been taking on these independent films and these strange roles i mean her you know he's, he's playing just you know these these weird these Character. weird characters so <laughs> i mean being a doctor strange that's going to be kind of crazy i'm looking forward to that what he would bring to the role mm. that depth you know, you, you know the source for Superman. The thing is, like I said before in the, in the last movie news, it's going to be a, a, a revamped script. It's not going to be the original, so it's going to be more mm. of you know he's already the source of Superman. They're just going into the story. He's been Doctor Strange. He's okay. been doing stuff. Yeah. He might probably give a little flashback here and there, but no, he is doing his thing. So that's what I'm looking forward yeah. to. And you know they have a um, director on it that that does horror films as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that twist. Mm -hmm. You know, in the Marvel Universe. So, yeah, I mean, if the, once, once he the deals and they announce it, I'm curious to see, you know, how many pictures is going to be, what is going to be going on with that. So, yeah. That's it. Wow. All right. Well, <laughs> that's the movie news, people. Also, do remember, um, subscribe to the channel, YouTube slash The Yardy Reviews. Also, email us with any questions, any suggestions about the show at yardy.reviews at gmail.com. And also, guys, look out for us at Comic Con. I keep saying this, but I always keep on saying it. We're going to be there covering it, London Comic Con, in October. So please look out for that. And also look out for the television season, fall television season. I'll be doing reviews on some of your favorite shows. Please look out for that as well. So a lot more content coming to you guys. Yard Reviews, me and Irv. Big up yourself. <laughs>